One of the most exciting things happening here in 2024 is the year of Mario. And what are we talking about? We just got Mario Wonder last year and Mario RPG. And really, we're going to call it the year of Mario because a thousand year door coming out and Luigi's Mansion HD and Princess Peach Showtime. And we're already up to three. Whoa. No, no, no. Actually, it's the year of Mario, at least in my estimation, because I fully expect a brand new 3D Mario game to come out this year. In fact, I can almost guarantee it if I actually worked at Nintendo. Here's the thing. We haven't had a brand new 3D Mario in nearly seven years years. It'll be officially seven years this upcoming October. That is because Super Mario Odyssey came out in October of 2017 and went on to become the best-selling, fastest-selling, most critically acclaimed 3D Mario game of all time, which is utterly insane when they've been making 3D Mario games since 1996. But this one is also a bit of a special case, not just because we're starting to get like closer and closer to it being a decade since we had one. Wow, that's actually really shocking to think about. It's because of what this Mario game could represent. Obviously, the idea with this next 3D Mario game is that it potentially could be launching a brand new system, right? It could be a launch game for Switch 2, and that's already exciting. But more so what the Mario game is what can Nintendo do with Mario that just makes this stand out and be so different from prior Mario's? Now, some of you guys out there might be wanting a Mario Odyssey 2 situation, and I can totally understand that. You made the most popular 3D Mario game of all time in Mario Odyssey. Why wouldn't you want a sequel? But others out there are expecting something in a different vein, and that is because of an experimental game they added on to Super Mario 3D World in Bowser's Fury, where Bowser's Fury was an open-world Mario adventure, but it was still pretty closed off. I, well, it, it was more like an open zone where the zone would gradually expand to be bigger and bigger. And, the you know, once you get towards the very end of it, yeah, it's all completely open. But it really wasn't your traditional open world. It was very much a things are locked off until you do certain things. But it was a fun experiment. And a lot of people really enjoyed Bowser's Fury and thought, hey, if they spent a little more time, this could have just been its own Mario game. But that is why when we're looking at the next Mario game, there's this wide expectation that we're going to have an open world Mario game. If you go back to Mario Odyssey, look, that also had an open zone concept, but they were closed off zones, closed off worlds, which is essentially what Mario has been doing since Super Mario 64. So that has become the expectation, even though the zones were just significantly larger. I mean, an entire city, hello, New Donk City, was just one zone, one area in Mario Odyssey. So this time around, I am very curious what they're going to do with an open world concept, because while I liked what they did with Bowser's Fury, it was very much a limited feature thing, dealing with Bowser all throughout, doing the whole cat Mario thing. It was fun, but it wasn't really what I want from a full-blown Mario game. I want something even crazier and even more experimental. And look, Nintendo always seems to come up with crazy new ways to do things with Mario. Who knew, you know, heading into Mario Odyssey before they even announced the game that the next Mario game at that time was going to let Mario throw his hat they were going to actually name the hat Cappy and that he was going to be able to take over objects and people and, and dinosaurs and <laughs> have all these crazy abilities. Who knew that's what they were going to do when we're so used to just the traditional power-ups? It really took the idea of a traditional power-up and flipped it on its head. And I really, really loved what they did with that. And then you go back to things like Mario Galaxy, where they literally took gravity and flipped it on its head. And that was wild and crazy. So they seem to always come up with these unique ideas. And I think there's going to be something unique this time as well. So no, I don't think, you know, unless this is a Mario Odyssey 2, which is entirely possible, I don't think that this, that 
I don't think that that's the direction where we're going to see Cappy return and just more of those crazy abilities. I think we're going to see something entirely unique and fresh, and I don't know what that unique and fresh thing is going to be. Now, yeah, I think it's safe to say if this is on new hardware, we can expect this thing to run really well, right? And Mario almost always runs well anyways. But it's going to be interesting to see what they do with the power-ups because after Mario Odyssey, it might feel weird going back to a more traditional Power up, you know, where you hit a block and get a star, get a fire flower, get a mushroom. It might feel weird going back to that after Mario Odyssey because so many people loved the way Mario Odyssey handled things. So I am curious what they're going to do with this 3D Mario. In fact, you know, what do you think in terms of the power ups? How are they going to handle that? Why don't you guys give me some ideas down in the comments below? Maybe we can make a follow up video going over some of the best ones. But I do. I just want to say that I'm really excited for this. Like, we haven't talked about a lot of games yet here in 2024 because, frankly, none of the games on Nintendo's current slate are things that I'm really that excited for. Look, I love Luigi's Mansion 2 uh, and Dark Moon, and coming back at HD is neat, but there's nothing really new to talk about there. Thousand Year Door, love it, but again, nothing new to really talk about there. So what we're really stuck talking about is either our hype around Switch 2 or potentially an upcoming Direct where we keep talking about Metroid because we don't really know what else there is to talk about. Uh, we're, Nintendo has us in no man's land right now. So that's why I wanted to make this video on Mario and get your guys' thoughts on what you think this brand new Mario game, because we're going to get another 3D Mario game regardless, right? Uh, but I think it's coming this year. I think this is going to be the year of Mario. You think of those three Mario games that we got on Slate already, then you launch the next system with a new Mario game. Maybe there's even a Mario Kart this year. Uh, you could throw in maybe a Mario Party. Who really knows? A Mario Sluggers. There's so many options out there, but I do think a 3D Mario is on Slate for this year. And could they wait till 2025? I mean, sure, if the system doesn't come out till then, they'll have to wait. But I, I do think it's highly likely going to be a launch game. We have some reasons to think this as well. Andy Robinson is really the big one. Well, he wouldn't make a report on it. He did go on a podcast and said he did have multiple sources tell him that the next big 3D Mario game would be the launch title for the system. But he didn't have what he felt was enough sources to come forward and make a report on it. And he hasn't really changed his mind since then he still talks about it as if it's going to be a launch game but he's not going to like die on that hill right he wants more sourcing on it but i don't know guys i'm just so excited for what this 3d mario can be i want to hear what your ideas are for this and the way nintendo could actually reshape and take mario into a new direction because look coming up with speculation on game direction is not actually one of my fortes but it is as i have found out one of my communities Forte. So I throw the question to you guys. What's this dream open world Mario game that you want Nintendo to pull off for Switch 2? Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll catch you in the next video.